guys. Today we're going to be talking about uh, wrist strap hooks from Demoose. Uh, that's it, right? Demoose. Um, I've been testing them out, using them for about two weeks now, and today we're going to give. We're going to give. I'm going to give you my honest opinion about them. Do you really need them? Um, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Let's go. So we're gonna start off with deadlifts. Um, I really like these actually, um, but I will show you guys how I've been using them for the past two weeks. Um, I like to start off with bent over rows, but today we're just gonna start off with deadlifts. See how much these can pull, because I haven't really used them deadlifting um, over, the past, over the past two weeks I've been using them. So we'll see how it goes. I don't really deadlift that much anymore. Um, so I'm not really gonna go heavy, probably just like two plates, three. I don't know, we'll see how my back is feeling. Um, but yeah, let's get started. It's actually really, really good for pulling, for a person who has, you know, bad grip like me, um, or if you have bad grip, this is really, really useful for pulling heavy weight. And if I were to go up a little more, um, sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> well, if I were to go up a little more, um, like four plates, 500 pounds, um, I feel like it'd, it'd handle it pretty good. You know, it's solid. I like the material. I like the hooks. You know, you can't even bend them. Yeah, they're pretty solid. I like them a lot. Um, I would say the risk to gain ratio on deadlifts, that's pretty much for you to decide. For me personally, they're not useful for me. Um, unless you're, you know, competing, you're a power lifter or whatever. Um, but as far as like changing your physique, I don't really see the pull. So, but if you like to do them, I would, I would suggest, you know, I would highly suggest these. use. They're really, really good. It, it's like effortlessly pulling it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I like them. Um, like I said, I've been testing them out for the past two weeks. So with bent over rows, they're really, really solid. You get a nice little pump and you get, you know, if you fix, if you fix your technique, you get, you get an amazing pump. I, I cannot complain about these um, doing bent over rows. Um, especially if you're really, you know, you get your technique right, get the form right. They're solid, really, really solid. And I'm, I'm looking for something to critique right now. Um, I can't really find one, but at the end of the video, I'm sure I'll find one. But as far as like, you know, critique right now, I can't really, I can't really critique anything right now. Um, but we'll, we'll see as we, you know, as the lift goes on. We'll see. All right, let's get it. Let's get it started. All right, first set, let's see how this goes. The nice thing about this is, you know, during the deadlifts, I didn't really have to worry about, um, you know, it's the, the bar slipping away from me. Um, that was something I was a little bit concerned about, but it hooks it pretty well. I, I'm pretty sure, I, you know, I don't even have to grip it. You know, all you gotta do is let your back do the work, um, and you'll be pretty solid, because it's, the material is really good. It holds it well, so we'll see how this goes as far as like the range of motion and uh, I'll give my honest opinion on that. Like I said, um, you don't have to worry about this slipping. It's, it's, I don't know. I feel like my, my back is, is doing most of the work. That's good, that's really what, that's what you really want. So, uh, yeah, for Bento for Rose, these, I will give a solid 9.8 over 10. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, nothing can get a perfect score from me, but I like these a lot. So that's as perfect as you can get as far as you know getting a score from me. So yeah, we'll go up and wait and see how it does.
getting a little hot. We're gonna test this out on Bent Over Rows next. The one negative I would give this is my wrists are pretty big, so that's where the uh, the hook line start, uh, stops. But I don't think it's too much of an issue because you can simply just, you know. But if there's an, any negative reviews, I'll give to it for right now. It'll be that. But like I said, you can always hook it up like that. And I have pretty big wrists, so it's not a big issue for me. So we'll see. Let's do one more set and then we'll go over, get some bent over rows in. Um, as far as pulling, I think that's about it. Uh, we'll do one more set here to get some dumbbell rows. Um, and then we'll see, we'll talk about how the workout went and get my honest opinion. So far, so good. I don't see any faults. It's handling the weights pretty well. I feel like it can handle a lot, a lot of weight, a lot. Um, Cause it's it's bossing the workout right now. So let's get it. Let's, let's keep going. Yeah, it's solid, man. That's solid. That was our last set, so we're gonna move on to some heavy dumbbell rows. And I go from there. Woo! Dumbbell rows, let's get it started. I'm gonna start with, let's say some 105s, because like I said, this really takes the pressure of, uh, off of you gripping it. For somebody like me, I've always had poor grip. Not poor, but pretty basic. Um, my grip is pretty tight, but I feel, sometimes I feel like you know, you get those palm, you know, sweats and things get a little sweaty, uh, slippery from there. So this really does take all that pressure off. Um, you, you can focus solely on working your back, um, which I feel like, you know, everybody needs. So we'll see how this does. I, I know it's going to handle it pretty well because I've been testing it out for two weeks. So but let's see, let's see. But I was literally not, not even using my fingers at all with those reps. My back is doing the entire work. Yep, I have a crazy pump on my back right now. That's almost I felt my back in a minute. Um, but yeah, this is literally helping me just isolate my back. It's crazy, you know, from your from your wrist to you know your back. I feel that isolation, so it's pretty good, you know. Still maintains my uh, 9.8 over 10, definitely. We're gonna go up, test it, and see how much compression we can get. Just you know, slowly isolating the back with this, and then keep going from there. I'm out of breath, man. <laughs> Good sign. Yeah. Hard work. to find something to critique because I don't want to you know give all hype but I don't think there's anything like I said the back there the only thing I would critique is you know there not being enough uh, I don't know what you call them but um, places to attach this it's too too short but like I said the material holds it up pretty well um, you know if it's something that concerns you but overall it's pretty solid, you know, looks good. Um, helps you isolate your back. So I like it so far. Look at that. 
solid, solid built. I like this, man. I like this a lot. I don't know why I'm just figuring it out, but thank you, Demos. I don't know what else you can use this for besides deadlifts, bent over rows, um, single arm dumbbell rows. Um, if you're one that likes to do seated machine rows with the bar and you use it like that, you know, go for it. I feel like it'll help a lot. But overall, I would, I would definitely give, give this. It maintains my 9.8. All right, so as far as the design, um, like I said, I have pretty big wrist, wrist already. Um, it's solid, the material, you know, it's pretty solid. This foam right here, <clears throat> this foam right here protects your wrist from, you know, all the extra push or all the extra pull you're doing. Um, you know, some wrist wraps, when you're pulling too much, you can kind of see you know, the marks. You can see I've been wearing it all day. You can't really see any marks. Um, the foam is protecting you um, from any scratches. Um, and like I said, with these hooks, these are these are metal. So they're really helping isolate that, you know, your back, getting you, helping you get a little better uh, contraction there. So I can't really, this feels leather. Um, the design looks good. <coughs> Like I said, the only drawback I would have, uh, which is not really a big deal for me, is kind of the the tape, I guess, whatever you want to call it, ends it right there. But like I said, the material handles it pretty well. So for me, that's not really a drawback, but like I said, I only said it's a drawback because I like to give at least one negative review. But overall, I wouldn't really call that a negative review. It's pretty solid built in my opinion. So if you're someone who <coughs> um, feels like this would be, well, first of all, do you really need this? Yes, you do need it if you have poor grip. Um, I have pretty decent grip, but this helps me isolate my back a little bit more. Um, so for me, yes, I do need it. Do you need it? That's up to you for you to decide. But um, overall, like I said, 9.8 over 10 helps you isolate your back so if you <coughs> feel like you need to get your back your back tighter drier um build a little bit you know more to your satisfaction i would highly suggest this for more isolation um i will put a link down in the description for you to go check it out um and uh if you do if you feel like you're gonna buy one please drop a comment let me know um again the company is called the moose right there I will put a link in the description, like I said, down below. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please like, uh, like or subscribe. It'll help the channel a lot. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. And uh, peace, I'll see you in the next video.